Today we're going to be testing the Spartan Armor System Ares Level 4 Body Armor. I love doing body armor testing because you just get to go out and shoot them and see what happens and there's really no other test that is better than just actually going out and shooting it and uh, see the results. So that's what we're going to do today. This is a level 4. So we know that level 4 can stop your 5.56, your 7.62s. So what we're going to do is we're going to go straight to a 30 out 6. Uh, we got an M1 Grand here. Big shout out to Devin. Uh, he always lets me use this gun whenever I do these body armor testing. Uh, so a big thank you to him for allowing me to use this beautiful gun and uh, be able to uh, punish some body armor and see what happens. So this shoots a 30 out six. We are going to shoot this as many times as it takes uh, before it goes through or the body armor just fails because it is, is crumbled to pieces uh, from the pressure of this gun. So before we get into this video, there is no scientific testing involved with this. This is just me going back out to my range and just shooting it and, and showing you guys exactly what happens. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you, this is the pressure and the velocities and, and I don't have ballistic dummies attached to this to be able to tell you what happens internally. All I can do is shoot it and then just show you uh, what happens to the body armor, say, here you go, this is the results and to give you guys an idea uh, because no one really wants to go out and spend $1,200 on a set of body armor and go out and shoot it just to see if it would stop it. So I'll do that for you. Actually, with that being said, let's go over my relationship with Spartan Armor System. They did send me this armor along with a, a carrier and a medical pouch. Uh, so I did not spend my own money on this armor. So it was nice of them to be able to just send this so I can shoot it and videotape the results. So I don't want to waste any time. I just want to get directly into this video to start shooting and then we can talk about it all uh, after the video. So here is the hole right there. On the front, quite a big hole, such a big caliber. And there's your side. So you have a lot of pressure coming out here on the side. And then the back, which is the most important part, there is no penetration through, but you do have some bulging, obviously there. And let's go from the side here. So with the multi-curve, it's kind of hard to really tell the bulging because you know there it is, but it curves around that way. So you're definitely gonna feel this one like any shot that you're gonna take but you won't have a hole in your body, so that's always a nice benefit. But let's go ahead and shoot it again here, and we'll aim for around this area. We'll keep these away. We'll try to see if we can get something uh, through this. We'll shoot it another time here and see how it does. <laughs> you can see smoke coming off of that. So right there is where it goes in. Yeah. And then your side so you're losing a lot of that energy coming out the sides there and then your back so right there is where it came in there's no hole better give you a look all the way around so your multi-curve just got a lot more multi-curved <laughs> and you're gonna be feeling this probably have some broken ribs Maybe a little bit of uh, the air knocked out of you. <laughs> but let's go for one more shot here and see how this does. So it's hard to tell which one's my end hole. I'm gonna say it's one of these because that's where you have the most damage right here. So it's gotta be this one, probably right there. And I think, uh, I think that might have done it for this one because now you're separating your ceramic, which is right here, and your polyethylene, which is right here. And this is actually pretty cool that you can pull this off and see a little bit better. Let me show you guys. That's the ceramic side, just to give you an idea of the hole and the cavity that is going through, the, all that pressure tearing through that. And this is, just pour all that out. This is the polyethylene side on the back. So. Nothing's getting through. There's a part of the bullet right there. You actually have a decent amount of polyethylene left still in that that hasn't gone through, especially that first shot. That first shot did not make it through much of any of the polyethylene. These ones, as you can tell, made it through some of the, the layers. This one did not. That was your first shot, second shot, third shot. There. And there's the back. So no penetrations on either of those shots. So I'm gonna put this kind of back together. I wanna shoot it again. I'm gonna see if I can do it one more time. See how many more shots it can take. See if something can get actually through it. So I'm gonna put it back together like that. Obviously, structurally, 
uh, testing wise for the armor. I don't want to really hold anything against it after this because it's not together anymore. So um, structurally, it's not complete, I guess I want to say, but uh, just for fun, I want to shoot another one here and see if I can get something through this. So, your entry is right here. Here is your exit. You got the four corners here of holes. And here is where it was stopped. Here's the back. Really getting a heck of a bulge now on the back of this. But that's pretty cool. Really be able to see the pressure and what it does on the inside of body armor and what that would do if it made it through to your body. I mean, this. This essentially would be what it would look like inside of you. Obviously, you're not full of ceramic and polyethylene, but it shows you how much energy is going through that and being absorbed by this. So as you can tell from the video, it did stop four shots from going through, which is awesome because that means four 30 out six size holes uh, not going through your body uh, and potentially just breaking your ribs, which would be cool uh, opposed to the latter. Like I said, this is not a scientific test. Uh, I cannot tell you guys the velocity or the pressure that's feeling off the sides or the back um, just to be able to show you what happens when shooting uh, the armor. So if that helps you make a better purchase decision if you want to purchase uh, this armor or if maybe you think uh, maybe I want to go with something different. Another thing they sent me from their website to try out is one of their carriers. I have uh, one of their sets of body armor inside this. I've been using this for a little while now. Give you guys some B-roll and close-up of this. It's got some quick disconnects here on the side. It's got a place for side panels. Uh, it's got a couple other items there as well. So, so far the quality has been nice, it's been comfortable, um, but I have not had enough time behind this to be able to give you guys a ton of information about the carrier, but uh, they do offer those as well on their website if you guys are interested in getting a combination. If you don't just want the plate you can go with the carrier as well and get both or you can just get a carrier for a different place if you'd like as well i really like the multi-curve systems and plates uh it's just so much more comfortable than your traditional body armor uh those of you that wear this often know exactly what i'm talking about when you're wearing it for a long period of time it just forms your body so much better and is a little less uncomfortable body armor no matter what is going to be uncomfortable especially you wear it for a long period of time uh, it's heavy it doesn't really mold well and a soft soft armor is not too bad um, but this hard armor, especially the higher levels you go, you're going uh, three and fours, so you're obviously getting a little bit heavier, more material, more, more uh, supply to it. So uh, it gets a little more uncomfortable, but these multi-curves definitely help in aiding with it being a lot more comfortable for longer periods of time. Another item I received from their website is one of their tearaway medical kits. So you could put this on your body armor and be able to tear it away, or you can carry it with you in your vehicle, uh, wherever you would like. So let's go over some of the interior items on this one. Uh, one of the things that I noticed that I haven't seen in a lot of medical kits I think is kind of cool is this little light that you can take off and clip on uh, which is a really cool idea in the sense that if you're at nighttime which a lot of times bad things happen at night uh, you're able to actually be able to see it's not anything powerful you're not gonna be able to like scan the area with it but you're able to just to see the contents of your bag and, uh, on this side you have a bunch of different assortment of bandages to use you've got some tape you've got gloves which is uh, something I'm probably gonna add some more into I, you can never have enough gloves in a medical bag you have a tourniquet uh, you have some scissors which are always important and then you have a marker here to mark uh, either your tourniquet time or if you want to color pictures do do whatever you think is fun uh, and then here's an MPA that is something you don't always see in medical kits like this. I think it's cool that they added that to it. Uh, I like seeing medical kits that have things that are actually useful. Some medical kits will just be jam packed of stuff just to say, hey, look at all the stuff that's in my medical kit. But most of it is impractical and won't be used. Now, when it comes to medical kits, I always preach that it is so important to make sure you know how to use this stuff. Uh, it's all cool and well to say, hey, I have an MPA, um, but what is it like i don't know what to, i don't know how to use it like make sure you're having the proper training uh, to be able to use this equipment tourniquet mpa bandages be able to know how to uh, pack a wound so make sure if you are going to spend the money on a medical kit uh, just take the time and uh, necessarily it really isn't that expensive you can actually find a lot of free classes or you can go to uh, like an amt class or a first responder class you can learn a lot of this stuff uh, so i find it really important to make sure that you take the time to learn skills uh, when it comes to medical bags and know what 
what's in your, your equipment and know how to use them. So with all that being said, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you guys are interested in helping out the channel and the things I do here, there's a couple ways to do that. Down in the description is my link tree. Uh, from there, there's some other links to companies like Brownells, Air Precision, anything you used using those links or purchase using those links does help with the channel and help support me. And I really appreciate that. Another way is the discount codes from companies that I personally trust uh, down there like Cloud Defensive. You can save 10% off and that always helps you guys save a little bit of money when, when building out new guns or new projects. Um, I'm here in the, the vault room, still underway, still under progress, uh, still working on finishing everything. Uh, but the, the one wall is finished, so I wanted to at least film behind this so you guys can see what it's going to look like. Uh, the wall right here beside me is going to be the main wall and it's going to have, uh, I, I don't want to give it away. It's going to be pretty cool. Uh, so I will give you more information as it comes. But as, as the videos progress, you'll see this wall changing and, and this whole area changing. So I apologize if the audio is a little off uh, because this, this room's still kind of empty. So I haven't finished everything. So it's a little echoey in here. But a couple companies that support me and the things I do here are Howitzer, Brownells, and Hold Up Display. Howitzer is a clothing company that donates 5% of proceeds to charity. And they worked with me on my own shirt, which is awesome. And we collaborated and made these, which are super cool. There's a link in the description if you want to pick up one up for yourself. And I appreciate the support. And I'd be happy if you guys share pictures you guys wearing them. I'd love to see that. And then Brownells is a company that supports me a ton. I couldn't do anything that I do here without them. They have been wonderful and fantastic. And they have pretty much everything on their website. You can use code TA10 to save 10% off orders of $150 or more. And then uh, Hold Up Displays, which is the company that makes the racks behind me. What's really cool is you can just start with a small rack, one, one small rack with uh, the ability to hold your guns, and then you can attach them later as you go. So uh, right now I just started with this rack, and then I'm slowly building the rest of the racks as the room gets finished. So uh, it's a really cool system, super simple. Um, it depends on your, your room. Uh, this room is, is reinforced in a way that it makes it really difficult to like find a, a good way to hang them or an easy way I should say there's really good ways to hang it it's just not very easy so it takes a while um, but if you're just throwing it into like a bedroom with a stud wall it's super easy you just bolt through the, the studs and then screw it in and you're good to go so those are really cool but other than that guys thank you so much and I appreciate you all okay.